In year 2050, aliens are taking control of Earth, yet humanity continues to resist the invaders. Koji is eluding the aliens' attacks while also obtaining crucial information from his adversaries. The human is eventually locked onto by a missile, which launches towards him and knocks him across the pitch before he has a chance to flee. Fortunately, Koji survives the assault and makes a fast exit from the battleground. While the man's buddies are devising a strategy to put an end to this horrific battle, Koji's sister Haruka starts to sense her brother using her psychic skills. As soon as Koji is finally able to obtain the alien's most potent technology, the people open the door for him. The majority of humanity has already been wiped out, therefore even with the enemy's plans, humans will never be able to beat the aliens. Going back in time and stopping the invasion from happening in the first place is their only hope to prevail. Koji is forced to bid farewell to his pals before leaping into the doorway with his brothers as the people hastily open a gateway into the past. A scientist named Kenichiro is working on his thesis on the other side of the portal in the year 2013, but he soon sees a gateway opening within his home. The man demands to know how the strangers got here after being startled by their emergence from nothing but air. When Koji learns this, he immediately orders his brother Kozo to scan the scientist to make sure he is not an alien wearing a disguise. The individuals explain that they are actually from the future and that they need the scientist to create a weapon for them. In order to avert the impending conflict after realizing that they are safe, five years later, a young man named Ken is a professional boxer but he prefers to make his money in the underground boxing scene rather than competing for titles. The man is undoubtedly a great fighter because he faces off against a bigger foe, while dodging attacks and quickly dispatching the rival with a single blow, but instead of receiving payment immediately away, he chooses to engage in a second fight. Unaware that Koji is watching him from the audience, Ken approaches the second opponent but is not particularly taken by the fighter's physique. He rapidly starts throwing punches at the man, but he is shocked to find that they have no effect at all. All they do is make the target smile. Koji notices the alien's presence right away, but the adversary counterattacks and sends the man flying across the room. The opposition keeps beating the boxer mercilessly while the crowd gasps in disbelief at what just happened, making him into the most resilient punching bag in history. After eventually knocking the opponent to the ground, the man starts throwing a barrage of blows, and Ken's friend runs over and hits the adversary directly in the neck, unexpectedly. The adversary reveals to be a disguised robot who instantly murders the friend in front of everyone. As a result of Ken's intense rage, the opponent is violently attacked, and at the same time, the android is also terminated. After seeing the terrible event, everyone starts to flee in terror, but three mysterious guys opt to stay, which Kozo is able to recognize as real aliens in disguise. As they quickly approach the warrior and take him down, the foes aim a laser towards the man's face to put an end to his life. Fortunately, Koji is able to step in just in time and start shooting the baddies. As Ken rapidly flees downstairs, he is able to leave the place without noticing that more alien monsters are also after him. The terrible monster quickly corners the man and begins to take on its actual form, preparing to put an end to the human's existence. Ken is shortly saved, though, by a car piloted by Kozo, who commands the man to enter the vehicle immediately if he wants to survive. The group instantly flees the scene as Kozo reveals that Ken was supposed to perish there, but they were successful in changing the future as intended. They are unaware that their car is being followed, and a second android tries to find out what happened while transferring the info to an unknown monster. It turns out that the alien is the brains behind the entire scheme and belongs to the Kilgis race. The alien has created a sizable army of clones inside its base to conquer the planet, and it has also constructed a massive robot to exterminate the human race. The team swiftly goes inside the building and informs Ken that they are genuinely from the future, at the same time that the people have arrived at the hideout. They inform the man that the people who attempted to kill him were actually aliens, who sought to get rid of him because he posed a threat to their scheme. Ken finds it difficult to believe such ludicrous allegations. So Haruka is compelled to use her psychic talent to provide evidence of what transpired in her timeline. The whole human race is almost wiped out in the woman's memories after being able to access the man's mind. If they don't stop the enormous robot that the aliens have constructed, she warns the man that this will also be his future. It comes out that the enormous device is a powerful weapon with the capacity to terraform Earth, and its name is the Black Baron. The gas it creates is safe for the aliens to breathe, but a typical person would be killed by the identical mixture in a matter of minutes. Haruka ultimately takes the man to the lab, where the crew has built a massive robot they call the Red Baron from the alien design Koji stole. They inform him that the alien robot will be finished in three years and that Ken needs to begin training immediately to combine his boxing skills with operating the massive machine. They suddenly become aware of the alarm sounding and recognize that the aliens have already located their hiding before they can conclude their chat. As soon as the Red Baron is discovered to be underground, the enemy cyborg starts to use a massive laser that blasts out a potent beam to destroy the robot by piercing the floor. When Koji realizes they are in danger, 
he promptly puts on his armor to fight the foes, and the doctor starts refueling the Red Baron so they can flee, Koji ultimately reaches it to the surface and fires at the adversaries, but the cyborg swiftly has the upper hand and starts attacking the man, the human makes a valiant effort to fight back, but his armor is no match for the adversary's power, causing him to be thrown into the wall, as a result, the alien cyborg is able to draw his gun and shoot the man in the chest while inflicting severe pain on Koji. The doctor then instructs the others to board the enormous robot as soon as it is finished being prepared. In order for his companions to survive, the scientist must stay behind and direct the launching system. The opening on the roof will soon start to open, while the others have already boarded the enormous robot, and Ken will shortly begin operating it for the first time. The Red Baron ultimately starts to levitate into the air as it passes through the building's roof. When Koji notices that the robot is about to go, he frantically sprints in their direction while still manages to latch onto it just in time. The robot's cloaking device causes them to entirely disappear from the enemy's radar. As the individuals rocket into the atmosphere and vanish into the sky, the humans ultimately reach a thick forest, where they hide the robot among the trees, but Ken has no idea how to halt the alien invasion. Fortunately, Dr. Kenichiro has created an AI version of himself inside the Red Baron's interface, who can assist in instructing the guy on how to control the enormous robot. To their astonishment, the computer advises that they should head to the moon first, as its gravity allows for more effective training while also hiding their whereabouts. The Red Baron is once again lifting off into the sky as the people hastily hurry outside to investigate after sensing a tremor within the structure. The enemy has also seized the doctor, according to the alien cyborg who has crossed over and gone back to his headquarters. Even worse, the alien stole the future's blueprint as well which aided them in completing the construction of the enormous robot much faster than anticipated. The adversaries can now start mobilizing the Black Baron and preparing for the invasion in order to swiftly exterminate the human race. The aliens are unaware that Ken has been continuously practicing inside his enormous robot, while adapting his combat instincts to the enormous machine. Tokyo residents soon start to notice something quite weird as two enormous metal objects move over the river. Kozo and his brother were both made aware of the bizarre sighting at the same time that it immediately made it onto the news. As a result, Koji realizes that the future must have altered once more, leaving him with no other option except to take on the Black Baron alone. Fortunately, his brother was able to construct him a new suit that will give him even more powers than previously. The tragic news from Earth has also reached Ken at the same time, and this has caused him to decide that he must return to the planet right away. The Black Baron quickly starts destroying the land's infrastructure as it surfaced like a massive kaiju, terrifying everyone in the metropolis. The fighter jets launch a barrage of missiles at the enemy, forcing the military to act quickly. The gigantic robot sends out its laser and destroys the planes like nothing more than insects, rendering the attacks completely ineffective. Eventually, the Black Baron starts firing its rocket booster, lifting itself into the air and flying straight for the city streets. The enormous machine starts to maneuver towards the metropolis, doing great harm and obliterating everything in its path. Fortunately, Koji and his upgraded armor are able to climb onto the nearby structure. The man immediately leaps into the air, landing on the adversary while attempting to harm the robot as much as possible. Koji struggles valiantly to hold on, but the robot pushes him into a building, sending him tumbling to the ground. This prompts the Black Baron to strike back. Numerous missiles are fired in the direction of the adversary before the enormous machine can murder the human, making it clear that the Red Baron has arrived at last to prevent the extinction of humanity. The Red Baron is getting ready to fight like a boxer, so Ken seizes the opportunity and fires a barrage of further bombs at the alien robot while also generating enormous explosions on the foe's body. The alien cyborg confronts Koji at the same time, but unlike the previous encounter, this time the man is ready for his foe. The two charge at one another and start trading blows violently, but Koji manages to gain the upper hand and send his foe flying across the pitch. This prompts the robot to pull out his gun and fire repeatedly at the human, but Koji is able to avoid the shots and amputate the foe's arm. While firing a barrage of bullets at the foe, the man rapidly kicks the opponent away, fully destroying the cyborg in the process. While doing so, the enormous robots keep fighting each other and setting off tremors with each blow. The Red Baron, However, demonstrates Ken's superior reflexes by dodging the enemy's blows while unleashing a crushing punch that knocks the adversary to the ground. The Red Baron takes a chance and keeps attacking the alien's robot, but things rapidly turn around as the opponent starts to activate its shield and deflects the strikes. As a result, Ken is forced to launch the missiles again, but the bombs are no longer functional. The adversary keeps pushing the Red Baron back while totally neutralizing all of the robot's strikes with their protection. The AI notices this and informs Ken that the enemy's power is coming from a nearby base, and that in order to turn off the shields, they must destroy the generator. Fortunately, Haruka is able to use her psychic powers to teleport away, taking Koji with her as they enter the enemy's lair. When Koji eventually arrives in a massive laboratory full with alien clones, the two decide to quickly part up, 
the man hurriedly pulls out his gun and starts shooting at the incubators, stopping the creatures before they can emerge from the containers. As a result, all of the alien clones are entirely destroyed by tremendous explosions. Haruka has also come across the horrifying creatures, but strangely, the woman draws her sword calmly and slays the foe with a single blow, as they fire aggressively at her. The girl soon realizes that additional aliens have surrounded her from all sides. However, Haruka is able to deflect the lasers like a Jedi Master. She fully destroys the enemy by transforming them into alien sushi, which provides her the opportunity to assault the monsters right away, on the opposite side. Koji has at last located the generator and destroys it swiftly, turning off the Black Baron's shields. As a result, Ken is able to launch the missiles once more, severely hurting the adversary's robot. Dr. Kenichiro is actually driving the Black Baron. The extraterrestrial rapidly explains, as the foes have used the scientist as their savior just before they can end the battle. The man is forced to watch the enemy flee while Ken is compelled to cease striking right away so as not to hurt his friend. In the meantime, Koji finally locates the alien's brain and attempts to destroy the thing right away, only to discover that it is a hologram. They begin to wonder about the enemy's genuine whereabouts because this indicates that the extraterrestrial was never inside the base. Fortunately, Haruka manages to uncover the truth when she locates Dr. Kenichiro within the enemy base, leading Kozo to conclude that the person controlling the robot must be a fake. Soon after the Black Baron starts to change as it prepares to terraform the Earth, while Kozo informs Ken that the doctor was never inside the enemy's robot, the man immediately powers up the Red Baron and launches it directly towards the enemies after realizing that he has been duped. When Ken finally makes it up to the alien robot, he starts to charge up massive quantities of energy before releasing it all at once upon the Black Baron. This overwhelms the enemy's robot, fully destroying it as a result, doing great harm to the alien. Soon after the doctor commends Haruka for all that he has accomplished, Ken starts to realize that he has gone out with all of his buddies. The extraterrestrial managed to escape the blast, which surprised no one, but Koji wonders why the monster chose to colonize Earth. Unexpectedly, the extraterrestrial only came to Earth because it would be morally acceptable to exterminate a species. That doesn't even value its own existence given how close mankind is to self-destruction. Koji quickly kills the alien after hearing the creature's final remarks and declares that humanity must decide what will happen to them in the future. Eventually, everyone congregates on the Red Baron to watch the sunset and make a promise to defend the world from any potential threats. The end, if you like this story, please subscribe to the channel and like it to motivate me to bring you more stories like this.